Mr. Owen, would you please stand up? Jury verdict count number one, murder in the second degree. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark Redwine, guilty of count number one. Be quiet, please. Murder in the second degree, signed by Mr. Parker. On July the 17th of this year, Mark Redwine, 59, was found guilty by a unanimous jury of second degree murder and child abuse of his son, Dylan Redwine. Redwine was arrested in 2017 in connection with the disappearance of Dylan 13, who was reported missing on November the 19th, 2012. Prosecutors argued that Redwine killed Dylan in a fit of rage after they argued over embarrassing photos of him wearing women's lingerie and eating feces from a diaper. Dylan lived north of Colorado Springs with his mother but went to his father's home near Durango Reservoir in Colorado for a court order visit in November of 2012. His dad said that he returned home from doing errands to find his son had gone. The two parents subsequently blamed each other for their son's disappearance. But in June of 2013, Dylan Redwine's remains were found a few miles from his father's home by hikers. The skull had injuries consistent with blunt force trauma and two small markings that appeared to be tools marks. The case drew national attention when the boy's mother Elaine Hall made accusation that Redwine had something to do with the disappearance of Dylan. They even appeared on Dr. Phil's television show back in 2013. It was clear that Redwine had displayed very strange behavior on the show and continued to make excuses when asked to take a polygraph test. It's hard for me to digest all this. This is all happening way too quickly. I just feel so overwhelmed. Would you be more comfortable with me coming out to the studio tomorrow morning after a good night's sleep? I'll be honest with you, I feel like my blood is boiling has been for hours. Well, my point is, I, I'm not refusing to take a polygraph test. All I'm asking for is, you know, some time to process this whole thing. thing that Mark's here now, I'm set up. I'm just about ready for him. So if he's going to take this test, we'll just get it done. Well, I'm here at the Dr. Phil offices, and I'm going to take the test. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm necessarily ready to take the test, but, you know, at this point, you know, we're going to take it. We're going to do what we got to do. However, the second polygraph test would not be conducted as Mark stated that he was unwell and unfit to sit the test. A question was asked. I gave an honest answer to it. The question was, do you feel well enough to take this test? And my response to that question was no. It became clear that it, by answering no to that question that there was no point in proceeding any farther. Dylan's older brother, Corey Redwine, also appeared on Dr. Phil's show and stated that he believed that his father had something to do with the disappearance of his brother. He argued that his dad did not turn up to any of the vigils that was organized by the community. Corey told the court how his brother had accidentally discovered the pictures on their father's computer during a road trip back in 2011. He told the court how his younger brother was pretty disgusted. A forensic anthropologist, Diana France, testified that Dylan suffered a fracture above his left eye and two marks on the boy's skull were likely caused by a knife or a sharp object. Mark Redwine faces up to 48 years in prison for his crime. His sentencing hearing has been set for October the 8th at 9am in the morning.